so good morning all uh, today we will cover the topic on mendel's laws of inheritance and the experiment that he did on pea plant uh, i will let you know about it in three video lectures it, it will be a three part video lectures in the first part i will discuss about uh, the history of mendel okay how he did the experiment how his experiments went unnoticed for a long period of time and how it again resurfaced okay due to efforts by various scientists that we will discuss in the next video lecture i will discuss about the monohybrid cross in the third part i will discuss about the dihybrid cross so let us start mendel's work on heredity well as far as you know that uh, um, Gregor Johann Mendel, he did the experiment on the inheritance in case of garden pea plants. Okay, <coughs> he was born in 1822. Okay, in a peasant family. He was born in 1822 in a peasant family in Czechoslovakia. In 1847, he came to Braun in Austria to study priesthood. Okay, later he went to study science at the University of Vienna. all these are historical aspects okay in 1871 he became an abbot that is head of a monastery where he lived and worked till his death his death uh, happened to be in 1884 okay he was born in 1822 so during this period that is when he remained in the monastery he started all his works okay uh, it uh, his breeding experiments on pea plant uh, he started in 1856 and it took him around 8 years to complete all those okay then he compiled all all his findings and uh, published it in form of a research paper entitled experiments in plant hybridization okay and it was read before brown natural history society in 1865 okay it was then subsequently published in the proceedings of the society in 1866 that means uh, all his works were ultimately published in 1866 uh, in form of a research paper now unfortunately all his works it remained unnoticed for a long period of time what actually the his works contained it was based on the hypothesis that the mechanism of inheritance is determined or that is the heredity is determined by factors okay which are then transmitted from generation to generation through gametes from one generation to another generation through gametes okay so this was the hypothesis that he found through his experiments but he is during his lifetime his work remained unnoticed maybe because of uh, maybe because uh, his uh, research paper was published in an obscure research, i mean um, you what you say <coughs> journal maybe um, he was well ahead of his time whatever maybe in the reason it remained un unnoticed till 1901 okay when by the efforts of some scientist his works again resurfaced who were those scientists they were your uh, hugo de vries <coughs> of netherland then uh, your uh, erik von schermack of austria and karl korens of germany actually they independently brought mendel's work to fame okay again his work resurfaced it was um, accepted universally it, it got its acceptance okay mendel's work then republished by de vries in flora in 1901 after a few years betterson reconfirmed that whatever mendel's mendel had done as far as on plants was also true for animals that means it has got universal application okay and after that the principles that mendel formulated were named after him and which are now known as mendel's laws of heredity okay mendel's laws of heredity and for his great contribution to the field in the field of genetics he is called as father of genetics 
So these were some small things, small historical uh, background as far as Mendel was concerned. And in this first video lecture, lecture I have uh, devoted all uh, everything else to the historical part. In the next video lecture, I mean the part two of this uh, video lecture, I will let you know about the monohybrid cross that Mendel did on pea plant. Okay, then thank you.